best-selling book in the world is the Bible, God's Word. We need to know what God's Word says now in our day more than ever before. And there are two books that are probably better than any other that you can get to help you study and learn God's Holy Bible. They are the Strong's Concordance of the Bible and Smith's Bible Dictionary, and you can have both of these books for only $25. Strong's Concordance of the Bible and Smith's Bible Dictionary. Call today to get yours, 423-472-7271, or toll-free, 866-518-2262. Or write us at P.O. Box 700, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37364 or simply go online at www.uccma.net. The Shield of Faith is our ministry magazine that we send out every three months and it's absolutely free. We would love to see you in an upcoming revival crusade in your area soon. Just watch the Shield of Faith for our complete revival schedule. There is so much included in this free magazine, anointed articles, and all the information that you need regarding United Christian Ministry. So call us, write us, or go online to request your free subscription to the Shield of Faith magazine. Sister Hall has written about 16 or 20 songs. I've written two or three songs. One of the, one of the songs that's number one for our black friends God gave to me, Jesus is the light of the world. I mean, they, they're they singing it all over the world. Jesus is the light of the world. Heaven, forth and all, the Lord gave to Sister Hall, and it became almost a number one. But I guess of all the songs, and already when set, I knew him when I was a little boy. He was the number one songwriter for the Pentecostals, for the Church of God, the, the Assemblies of God, the Church of God of Prostate. And every song that he wrote was in 4-4 four, four time. If you could ever sing one of his songs, you could sing them all. Every song almost that he wrote. I think he did get two or three that was in 4-4 four, four time, and they never did go over. You've got to buy it in your calling for God put you. But I guess the best uh, verse of any song I've ever heard was, is this. Trust grace. That's how sing, children. My heart to hear and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear. this when Jesus was on this earth the strangest thing he didn't reach back and get the people that had worship he got a whole new order he didn't go back to those of the Old Testament order he didn't get to any of those people that already knew how to worship in their way now does anyone understand that he got a whole new group of people that didn't know and hadn't been taught and didn't had uh, gone their own ways but worshiped him in spirit and in truth how many understands that peter james and john no way they had never worshiped as far as we know not even in the old testament order but the lord called them to him so they would be real. Tonight, let's raise our hands and worship him, I mean, in reality. Don't worry about how you've been taught to worship. Let the Spirit let you worship him. If we were to leave here right now and not get another word, if I could only get these last five minutes through, that if each one of us would worship God, exactly the way we feel like worshiping him and not being hated 
by that person that's standing next to us. Let's worship God the way that we feel led to worship Him. Miracles would transpire, and I feel God moving all over me. Hallelujah. That would be that would be letting God be your God. Don't worship Him like the Baptist that taught you worship Him uh, a limited to that. Don't just limit it to the how the Methodist has taught you or how the Catholics have taught you or how the Church of God has taught you or the Pentecostals have taught you or even these people here at this church have taught you, United Christian or even United Pentecost. But worship Him your, yourself. I mean worship Him. Just walk into His presence. What would you do if Jesus walked into this building and walked down this aisle? I know how I'd worship Him. I'd fall on my face crying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, that was and is. When we one time enter into that, we'll have His divine presence. Demons will have to flee. Blind eyes will be open about even praying for them. Deaf ears will be unstopped. And the people will be healed of sickness and diseases when we really worship Him, when He becomes our Lord. Raise your hand and say, He's my Lord. And cried aloud, He is my God. I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired coming to Jesus through men. I'm a little tired of having to come to Jesus through a scripture hall. I'm a little tired of having to come to Jesus through the Baptist. I'm a little tired of having to come through the Methodist to get to it. I'm just a little tired of having to go through the Pentecostal to get to it. I'm a little tired of having to go through Brother Roberts to get to it. I'm a little tired of having to go through Brother Brandon to get to him. I'm a little tired of having to go through Apostle Peter to get to him. I'm a little tired of having to go through Isaac and Jacob to get to him. I'm a little tired of having to go through uh, the Apostle Peter, uh, James or John to get to him. If you don't mind, please get everybody out of my way and let me touch the hem of this garment. If somebody don't praise God, I'm going to shout for myself. Lift those hands and get to him tonight. Push the men out of the way. Push the ideas and doctrines out of the way. And say, I've got to touch him. I've got to touch Jesus. Let me touch him. Praise God. If I touch him, I'll be healed. If I come to a man, the man will tell me, I'll pray for you and I'll lay my hands on you and you'll get healed. If I go to a man and, and I pray for the people and I lay hands on them and, and, and I believe in that. But if I go to a man, he'll say, I'll take a, some of this olive oil, and I'll anoint you, and you'll be healed. Or I'll give you a handkerchief or an apron. But I've got news for you. I'm a little tired of handkerchiefs. I'm a little tired of aprons. I'm a little tired of men's hands. If you don't please, if you don't mind, let me get to him and let his nail scarred hand touch me, and I'll be all right when I get to Calvary. My Lord and my God, there's enough power here to push all of hell back. Turn around and tell somebody I've come to the right place, not to the right man. H. Richard Hall's not the right man. There's no man that's right, and ain't the one to get to. You can get to every man you want to. You can go to preachers. You can go to Billy Graham. You can go, and these are men of God. They're great men, but you've got to go beyond man. You've got to touch Jesus. Lift those hands and say, I've got to touch Jesus. I've got to touch him. When I touch him, I'll see. When I touch him, my death is going to be open. When I touch him, I'll be forgiven. Man may not forgive you. He may remember your sins as long as he lives. But I've got news for you. When you get to Jesus, you'll be forgiven. When you get to Jesus, praise God, your sins will be washed away. When you get to Jesus, you'll be a new creation. Praise God, I mean uh, absolutely a new creature. In Christ Jesus the Lord, lift those hands as I've been to Calvary. I can say, I know the Lord. I've been to Calvary. I've got the witness of his word. Lift those hands and say, yes, Lord. If you love Jesus, raise your hands and praise God. Uh, raise your hands, tell my soul. Now, say that again. I am a soldier. Now, that when we first get saved, we get on dress parade. After all, you get the Holy Spirit, you get the Holy Ghost, and oh my, how beautiful and how wonderful it is. But after a while, when you go out to battle, and you get wounded, soldiers don't just 
go into the army or the navy or, or into the air force or the marines or whatever includes the him people don't just go in there to get a new uniform and that's a lot like a lot of us Pentecostals we get into holes to get long sleeves long dresses long hair long tongues and long noses and long faces see but they go in they, you get your dress all right you get you get your uniform you get everything but after a while it comes time to go to battle I mean battle And once in a while, <clears throat> there will be those that are conspirators or traitors. You don't have to worry about the enemy over there. You know good and well he's shooting at you. But right in your midst once in a while, you'll find somebody. Instead of fighting them, they'll fight you. It seems like somebody here don't like me. Is it you? If you love Jesus, raise your hands and praise God. Now, how has ever been in a battle? Turn and tell somebody, I really know I'm a soldier. I really know I have. I've got some scars. I mean, quite a few of them. When I get to heaven, I don't want to go into heaven. And see all those people that gave their life at the stake and those that were slain? Over 500,000 during the awesome Inquisition that lost their life because they sought to go with Jesus. I don't want to get into heaven. Stay in my way. <laughs> This one, and I got this one. I want to have something, praise God, as a trophy. I'm here. I want to have proof of the ministry. Go in your so room. Have right and if you fight the devil, you'll get some wounds. You're not going in my word. Everybody say wounds. Really, y'all? Uh, Time goes on, you have different kinds of battles with the devil. It comes against the tabernacle that you dwell in. Brings it down. Cancer. Heart trouble. Accident. Crippled limbs. Blindness. Deafness. It comes against the tabernacle. And that's, that's terrible. When Satan comes against our tabernacle, and we find out that in the tabernacle, all of hell comes against us. We find out our eyes are going. God don't do that. The devil does that. Or you find out that a paralytic condition is taking hold, and you can't walk like you used to. Our condition is affecting your heart, the tabernacle. How many can understand what I'm saying? Then, then, after a while, if you don't come that way, he'll come against your reputation and rip it apart. Then he'll try to tear into your character. Then, if that don't work, he'll come against your very soul your spirit they're turning to that now you're not in too much trouble you can't take the flesh and pull the spirit out it just don't work that way you take the soul and the spirit and bring the flesh under subjection say man you have to take that soul part that's in the natural everybody's got a soul but the people of God 
And I don't know even what to call that. There may be others that can, I don't. Before I was ever born again, before I was ever saved, I had a soul. But after I got saved, I got something else. And we Pentecostals haven't got into that yet. We're still hanging out here on this old order. But there's some people going to walk into that that was given to you that you didn't have. I mean, that's something that you didn't have before you got saved. <clears throat> this was already born. But I've been born again. This has not been born again. So if this has not been born again, there's something that has been born again. And to have been born again means it has been born, B-O-R-N, somewhere before. Oh, you see, now he's talking about the, uh, you're, you're getting born again. You're born in the flesh. No. He said to Nicodemus, he turned to Nicodemus, and he said to him, you must be born again. And Nicodemus said, how can a man, when he is old, 60, 65, enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus said to him, that which is born of flesh is flesh. He said, Marvel not that I say unto you that you must be born again, not this flesh, but something that has to be born again that was born somewhere before. And we're going to come into that. I mean, we're getting ready to come into that part that has been born again. We have worshipped God in this that was born of the flesh. We have clapped our fleshly hands. We have sung with our, with our normal and natural, maybe that's the way I put it, natural tongue with our natural languages. We have worshipped God with our natural attributes. Holy, holy. See? You stand before holy, holy, and the natural magnifies it. But you wait till that part of you that's been born again magnifies him. We've been telling you about this Holman Bible. It's a King James Version red letter Bible that has thumb indexes on the edge of the pages to make it quick and easy to locate chapter and verse. Several people have called in gotten a copy of this Bible. Just recently we had our convention here in Cleveland, Tennessee, and many people took one of these Bibles home to be used as their main carry Bible. But now I want to tell you about something else. We also have available to you a super giant print King James Version Bible. Notice what I said, not just giant print, but super giant print. Even though it is super giant print, it's still a good size to be carried with you wherever you go. Like the Holman Bible, this Hendrickson Bible is also thumb indexed to make it quick and easy to locate chapter and verse as the words of Jesus written in red with references located at the end of each verse. Now this Bible is available to you just by helping this ministry with an offering of $35. And that includes shipping. You can get this Bible, or if you still are some of you that would like to receive the Holman Bible, we still have it available as well. Also, for an offering of $35, include shipping, or better yet, you might want to get one of each. By helping this ministry with an offering of $70, we'll send you one of each. It's your choice. So contact us today to receive yours. You can go online to www.uccma.net. Or pick up the phone and call 423-472-7271. Are you called into the ministry? If you are a minister of the gospel, you should prayerfully consider joining our worldwide network of ministers at United Christian Ministerial Association. Whether you are a teacher, missionary, minister to prisons, hospitals, nursing homes, a pastor, or evangelist, 
or any other facet of the ministry, and you are seeking to be licensed in the ministry, contact us to find out what you need to do to receive your certificate, license, or ordination by contacting United Christian Ministerial Association. Call us, write us, or go online to apply at www.uccma.net and click on Ministries. Join with us as we reach the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Here is a message of vast importance. I want you to hear this. If we are to continue on some of these stations, we must hear from you this week without fail. Did you hear me? We must hear from some of you with just a free will offering. I mean free will, an offering. We've got to hear from you. The cost is great. We need to hear from you today if we are to remain on this station. It's your prayers and offerings that keeps us on this station. So pick up your phone and give us a call or write us a letter right now while the Lord is moving on you to do so and help us with an offering or a portion of your tithe to keep us on this station. You can also go online to give and click on the yellow donate button. Thank you and God bless you. God bless you, neighbor. Thank you for watching the Shield of Faith telecast. We trust that today's program has been a blessing to you and will continue to be a blessing each and every week. Please take time to contact us this week and let us know how these programs are making a difference in your life. You can contact us with the information on the screen. We always need the prayers and financial support of our viewers. Join us again next week at this same time for the Shield of Faith telecast. Your water likely comes from a forest, perhaps hundreds of miles away. Our forests are being devastated.